it's Friday, and that means the doctor is in. And we are so happy to welcome back Dr. Jonathan Holmes with Children's Medical Group. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Devin. Glad to be here. All right, we're talking about a subject that a lot of parents can relate to, and that is seasonal allergies. And yes. you're saying it's, it's almost time for them. Um... We are there. The big season starts in February. Oh, and, we're already there. Okay. And, <laughs> and we go all the way through November here in Mobile. Uh, and really, that's the whole state of Alabama. Right, that's almost the whole year. And I, I think of people who Yay. suffer from allergies can really relate to that. Yeah. But we're talking about children here. So, mm -hmm. what what are the main symptoms of allergies? Sneezing, but do they cough and things like that sure. as well? Sure. Yeah, they can have cough as well. There are typical symptoms that kids have. We call one the allergic salute. That one uh, everyone's familiar with. Yes. But also <laughs> kind of throat clearing, <clears throat> that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. as well as sneezing. Um, you'll have lots of runny nose, and the dry cough is absolutely present as well. Typically, these type of symptoms match up with their exposure to outside. You'll see it worsen after they've been playing or had some kind of outside exposure, and that's usually how the kids will present. But sometimes just dry cough alone can be tough to, t tough to nail alone. So. Right. I mean, how do you diagnose allergies versus something else? Yeah. So a lot of times allergies are more of a, a chronic presentation. Mm -hmm. They're not going to come and go in five to seven days like a cold. You may see a more consistent but maybe less severe type of presentation, whereas a cold may have a fever associated mm -hmm. with it and usually resolves after about seven to ten days. Do you recommend allergy medication or even allergy shots for children? Uh, absolutely, that can be part of it. Uh, first is trying to avoid the allergen. Okay. Uh, that can be tough because we're surrounded by it, but keeping your windows closed if you're driving places or your house windows closed mm -hmm. in the middle of the morning. or Right now it's a bit cold, but as it warms up, people tend to, to open their windows up a bit more. Right. Mid-morning is when the worst level of allergen tends to be, so oh. we try and keep those closed. But medicines are also helpful. Typically mm -hmm. Zyrtec or Claritin are best because they're okay. non-drowsy. Uh, and then after that, nose sprays like Flonase and Nasacort are steroids that can help some of the symptoms decrease. But an allergist right. can offer shots if it's really severe. I mean, it's really miserable for, for anyone, especially children, to, to have mm -hmm. allergies. And we were talking about, well, how do you know if it's an upper respiratory infection? Right. And you're saying it's the duration that you really need to be looking for. Yeah, and that consistency of symptoms. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. a cold will come and go. Or maybe have little periods of resolve in between infections, but if you have allergic rhinitis, that's more of a, a present symptom as long as there's exposure to the allergen, which can be sometimes for months. Uh, do parents usually know these are allergies, or do they get confused even whether? It's tough for anyone to, mm -hmm. to nail the diagnosis, especially if there's a combined picture between cold and allergies. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it takes a good physical exam and someone to go through the history with the parents to figure it out. Okay, well, we are going to be talking about seasonal allergies in children with Dr. Jonathan Holmes. Thanks so much for being our guest today, but he's not done yet. He's going to join us on, face group, uh, on Facebook at 1230 on WKRG's page. Again, he is with Children's Medical Group, and we'll be talking about seasonal allergies and some of the remedies and how uh, you can be helped by this coming up at 1230. Thanks, Dr. Holmes. Thank you, Devin.